Hi there. Um, today we're going to do an open boxing video for a Tascam DR100MK2. It's a portable stereo digital audio recorder. Uh, it's got a lot of high-end features for the money. We happen to get this one on eBay. It's an open box one for 238 delivered. That's an awesome deal. Uh, it's still got the warranty card in it, etc. Um, otherwise, I would check out like BH Photo has them now for about 282. This is the direct competitor for the Zoom um, H4n, um, but this unit has a lot. Um, more useful features. Uh, the, not to knock the zoom, the zoom's a good unit um, and you get a lot of bang for the buck. That unit is actually a true four track recorder. This one is only a two track recorder. However, you do get four built in microphones, um, two of them are cardioid and two omnidirectional. Um, plus, you get two locking XLRs, which you just don't get in the zoom. So, here we'll open it up. The benefit to this unit, and it's a little bulkier, um, it also has two power supplies. It comes with a rechargeable internal battery, and, you can, and it also runs on two double A's as well. So, what's in the box? You get your cheapo little pouch, little Velcro, not much to it, better than nothing. It's your owner's manual and an adapter. Let's say, uh, might be for the remote control. Okay, so here's what's in the box you get a kind of cheapo foam windscreen. You get your a rechargeable um, battery. I would recommend buying an extra one of these as well. You do not get the AC adapter with this unit so I would purchase that additionally. Um, I purchased it from BH Photo for like 21 bucks. Uh, looks like this is a remote cable. You got your USB cable. You got a clip. And you have a remote A remote control too that has a battery in it. Very cool. To the unit itself. Also, I would recommend using uh, NIM uh, rechargeable batteries that'll last longer. You can recharge them. Uh, alkalines will work, but they get eaten up quickly. That's my understanding. What's great about this unit is it get dials and buttons and switches. Instead of going through the menu, everything you need is there. It's pretty simple. It operates like a tape machine. You got your play, record, stop, etc. Um, you also have a setting here where you can select your inputs from, you have a line in here. You have uh, omnidirectional uh, mics here, left and right. You can switch to use that. Uh, unidirectional. And then you have your XLR, which would all the way be down here. And what's cool about these is they are locking. And um, you have a switch from mic to line as far as what you're, uh, you've got one line, one input. What's great about this unit over the Zoom, and I can't stress this enough, is that you get a dedicated headphone out plus an additional quarter inch line out. Whereas with the Zoom, you're only going to get one line out and it's difficult to monitor your audio. Um, uh, so, and here's your power. Uh, I would recommend getting the um, power supply along with this. This is a pretty rugged case. It's aluminum. And then you get these great volume dials, which are, there's an internal and an outer one to control the volumes for each of your mics, left and right. Um, you just don't get a lot of switches and knobs with the zoom. Um, so there you go. That's for your um, rechargeable battery. That's for your double A's. You get your tripod mount. 
You have um, low, mic gain, low, medium, high. I hear a lot of people say they put it on high. Um, if you're going to use phantom power, don't expect it to last a long time with your batteries. Um, phantom power will probably be better if you use the power cable, um, depending on what you're running off of here. We got this because we want to test out, like a lot of other folks out there, when we're getting into DSL, uh, DSLR shooting. So we have a... What we're going to do next with this unit is set, set up a new rig, and it's going to be the T3i cannon. Um, along with this for audio. We also purchased, um, very important to, to purchase uh, your line out. To get line out to mic in on the T3i, you need a special cable. You can get it from like KV Connections. You need a line to mic adapter and, and then what that does is allow the signal from this to be sent to your T3i. That is on the way. We should get it tomorrow. Um, and then what we're going to do is an assembly of all this. We also are going to use with this um, an Audio Technica, just a cheap $20 Audio Technica ATR3350 um, that we're going to use because we're going to be starting a um, kind of a talk show type deal on uh, YouTube so we wanted something for speaking to record separate audio into our SD card and this can take uh, I believe up to a uh, yeah the unit you put it in on the top it comes with a two gigabyte card which isn't very much so I'd recommend getting a 32 right away um, so you record your audio directly to this and you can send the line out to your Canon and then you can sync them in um, post using something like Pluralize or uh, something of that nature depending on what you're using to edit. So that's a quick unboxing, not so quick I suppose, of the DR100 MK2. It's pretty uh, rugged, it's not cheap looking, you know. Um, and we're going to set it up on a, uh, along with the T3i and it is replacing this old little Razer guy, the Zoom H2. This is kind of an older unit I've used for a while. But again, you don't get any XLRs, you don't get, uh, you don't get the, um, you get a line and headphone out which is difficult. You need a splitter in order to hear what's going on. So that's why this is a major upgrade for, for us. So watch for our next video, which will be assembling and testing out a uh, Canon T3i along with the DR100. We're going to try sending it in there and deactivating the um, auto gain control on the T3i um, and running the line directly. And then we'll do a test to see how that audio sounds compared to just the T3i internal audio. And then we'll sync to the hard copy that's going to be on the Tascam, which would be the best. Again, Pluralize is great because it'll sync this audio up along with this, if that's what you're going to use it for. I'm also a musician, so this is going to have dual use. It's um, also for filming and for recording some demos, etc., and some live shows. Thank you for watching.